parenting alert about sharing on social media. Specifically, a new study revealing parents may want to think twice before they post about their kids. It's a story that we first saw in the New York Times, and it has us talking. Before you post that photo of your child on Facebook, be sure to ask for their permission. According to a new survey investigating families and technology, that's the social media rule kids want their parents to follow. Alexis Hineker led the research and heard from kids from 249 families. They weren't necessarily saying that parents shouldn't be posting about them at all. They just wanted to have some uh, control over their online image. The unscientific survey finding children are embarrassed and frustrated about the content their parents are posting about them on social media. Hello. Mother of three, I Wendy Bradford, does her best to respect her children's wishes when it comes to hitting the post button. I do ask my kids for permission most of the time because they're so aware and they will say, is this going on Facebook? It is a topic of conversation. Social media and its role in the family evolving and in a world where the majority of parents are on social media, the rules are ever changing. I think it's great that parents share pictures of their families. I don't think it's a bad thing. I just, I think it's a changing thing. And as my children have become aware of social media, they have voiced their opinions and I can't ignore that. Yep, we asked you, <laughs> do you think you post too much about your kids on social media? And 86% of you said, oh, no, not at all. 14% though admitted, yeah, we do. So we didn't ask the kids. Yeah. <laughs> I think 100% right. of kids would say, please, yes, you do. <laughs> Joining us now, though, editor at mom.me, Erica Suter. Erica, what do you think about those findings? Well, I was surprised at first because this is a complete role reversal. We as parents, we're trained to think that we want to stop our kids from posting certain things. We want to watch what they put online. But we do. That, yes, and we do. Uh, but we, when, we, when the roles are turned and the kids are actually horrified or they feel that what we post is affecting their life negatively, <laughs> it's like an eye-opening moment. You're like, really? Is, are you serious? What, why, what do you think these kids are worried about? Well, they're, so their whole identities are locked up online. They can't separate what's reality and what they post. They want the world to believe that everything that they post is who they are. They're cool, they're fashionable, they're smart, they're funny. But when a parent posts this goofy, silly picture. <laughs> yeah, or like a throwback what, Thursday. Or what I think, think that Thursday. my daughter, she doesn't think is cute. Like, I'm like, that's such a beautiful picture. She's like, no, it isn't, Mom. Yeah. Right. And to be fair, these images can be horrifying. And friends and enemies alike can be brutal when there's a horrible picture online. Yeah, I mean, we've heard all about this online. Online bullying, well, how terrible as a parent to think that you could have caused it. You right, know, but kids speak. always get a little bit embarrassed by their parents. Yeah, I know. Versus <laughs> so that you put it out to the whole world, sure. Right. I know. I never right. knew how what a dork I was until I had <laughs> teenagers. Um, uh, the, uh, the heart of the issue here, though, is really about trust. Right. And it's trust not the way we think about it, because kids know their parents don't hate them or want to hurt them, but they don't trust our judgment. We basically aren't cool <laughs> enough to help them cultivate so true. their online persona. And that's part of the problem and we have no idea what their social context is either you know we're we're just posting pictures because we think it's cute and it's right. them naked in the bathtub or oh, doing something silly don't or do that, you know, no, don't do that, don't do that. Um, so <laughs> we are also not fully aware of this image that they want to put out to the world yeah oh, well you, know you just, are when you are when you have teenagers they, yeah. they make you very <laughs> well, they make you very I think aware. At that, that by the time you get to the tween stage you really need to respect yep. their voice you Agreed. just do that's true they want to be independent and this is a, a, a first step in that right Erica thank you thank appreciate you. it